Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how I made our elderberry syrup. So I put in a half a cup of elderberries already. And this is just something that one of my friends gave me is dried elderberries. So you are going to put that in the pot and then add three cups of water. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. You're going to want to turn on your burner and you're gonna mix everything together. You can add other things too. There is other um, seasonings and stuff you can add to this, like ginger and I don't remember what else, but there's some other stuff that you can add. I'll leave it in the description on some of the things that you can add. So mix that together and then you're going to cover it and bring it to a boil. So I'll come back when it's at a boil and then I'll show you the next steps on what you need to do. Now that it's boiling, I'm gonna reduce the heat and bring it to a simmer and then we're gonna simmer it for like 30 to 45 minutes. And then we're gonna use uh, like a cheesecloth or something that you're able to squeeze out the berries and get everything, um, all the, like the nutrition and stuff from the berries out. So I'm gonna simmer this for a while and then we'll come back and I'll show you what else I'm going to do. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing something different. With everything that's going on right now, a lot of us are concerned with our immune awesome. system. Berries and fruits and vegetables and different things that are out there um, that can help you when you need to do that. So we ended up buying like elderberry gummies. I'll list them down below too. And then um, I wanted to show you guys how to make elderberry syrup and then you just drink that on daily so you just take just like a little bit of a drink every day i'll put like a dosage down below also on some of the things or how much that you need to take in a day um i showed you already in the beginning went ahead and made batch of elderberry and what i did is i added a half a cup of elderberry berries or dried and then a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can add ginger and other things to this, cayenne pepper. Um, there's a bunch of different recipes on how to make elderberry. So what I did is I put in my half a cup of elderberries, I put three cups of water, and I put a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. I boiled it with the cover on. I let it simmer for 45 minutes, and now we are gonna go ahead and drain out the berries and just um, use the liquids from the berry. And what you're gonna wanna do is when you put your seasonings, seasoning in, you're gonna wanna do that right away when you're doing the boiling process. So you're not gonna do the after. But once we get done with this and we drain it, after this cools, we're gonna add honey to it and that's gonna be our sweetener. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and drain this in here. You just need like a cheesecloth or something that is thin that is able to get rid of the berries. Um, I think I have a strainer that I could use, but this is gonna be easier because it actually goes into um, the jar. Uh, this is my first time making it. I do have, um, I've had this before last year, a lady friend of mine made it for our family when it was winter during the flu season. And then she just gave me um, a jar full of berries. So that's what we're using here today. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm going to drain this in here. You're going to want to have the berries. Oh, I gotta get a spoon. You want the berries and everything to go in with your cheesecloth. You just don't want it in 
um, the jar afterwards. So we're gonna just put them in here so that we can squeeze out all the juice from the elderberries. Let's see if I can show you guys. So that's some of the liquid already in there. Okay, so just go ahead and squeeze And you're not gonna keep the leftover seeds, so you're gonna wanna get rid of them. Unless you have a garden or whatever else you wanna use the extra berries for. Maybe my chickens can have the berries. I'll have to look into that. So this would be like a small batch. I would probably do maybe two more batches for us to get through because this is this is not gonna be enough for our family. This is our elderberry from last year. Standard dose is a half to one teaspoon for kids and a half to one tablespoon for adult. If the flu does strike, take the normal dose every two to three hours instead of once a day until symptoms disappear. So that's if you have the actual you know, virus or the flu. So um, this, I'm just kind of giving you a reference of what that says on the label. And I'll leave all this down in the description for you guys to follow. But Hudson's gonna help right now and he's gonna be adding the um, honey to our elderberry. This is a cup of honey, but we're gonna just, um, we're not gonna add the whole thing. We're just gonna add to it for sweetness part of it. Do you wanna go get a couple spoons? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna try this without having any honey in it right now so I can tell the difference. It's just really, really bitter. So we'll use a bunch of spoons so we can mix everything. Can I try? No, I'll just, here, pour that in there. Maybe like half. One. That's good. Okay, you want to mix that? We're making more. I did end up uh, doing another batch or two extra batches. So I'll have three batches that I've made today. So I will probably just put it in another mason jar and then you just store it in the refrigerator. Okay, that should be good. So. I'm gonna give that a try. Okay, so I think you should add, add, you can add the whole rest of the half a cup. So a cup all together. Okay, that's good. And then you wanna mix I'm that. I'm gonna try this and see if I like it. Yeah, that's much better. So. With the little amount that we had in here per one cup of honey was pretty good. And I'll leave all the benefits to why elderberry is good during flu season. I'll leave why you should add like other things to it. So we just did the cinnamon and I'll leave all the benefits to cinnamon, ginger, cayenne, and all that. I'll leave that below and then the recipe will be also down in the description i'll leave a link to get some how to get you guys can get some mason jars some cheesecloth and what else do you need? maybe some dried elderberries i'll see if we can get some of them on amazon and then um or you can store it like these this in um some jars like this we make our own kombucha, so we do have bottles like this that we have on hand. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you wanna purchase um, some of these bottles to store your elderberry syrup. Um, and then make sure you guys label it and with the date that you made it, just so you don't, um, so you can keep track of how long you had it in the refrigerator. That was just a quick way for you guys to make elderberry. Um, I that was I think that was pretty easy to follow. This is my like I said before. This is my first time making it. 
Um, I don't think it was too difficult. I think it's more if you didn't have the dried elderberry on hand, that would make it a little bit more tricky to being able to find that. But I'll see if I can find it on Amazon for you guys and then you can purchase some of that for yourself. Um, and if you want, you can store your elderberry in a mason jar, like the dried elderberry in a mason jar, and then um, label what year you um, put it in your jar. And like I said in my um, other video on the coronavirus video, I was stating a lot of prepping stuff that we do with like dry canning. So um, that'll be in another video sometime with that, but that's kind of why we have a lot of mason jars on hand. This is why we have stuff like this going on um, with our kombucha. It's a probiotic drink. Maybe I'll list that down below too on why you should drink kombucha. And I'm trying to think. Otherwise, a lot of people like to take like acidophilus or probiotics during flu season um, for your immune system also. And I think you can maybe even take like apple cider vinegar and stuff like that. But I'll just list a bunch of things down below in the description that you can use to boost your immune system during the flu season. Um, for us and the kids, I did get the kids out today just because the weather was nice. It is kind of warming up here. That's another good thing for us is to just get outside and not be locked up in our home. Um, just because flu season, it likes to linger in your home. And this is just another way for you guys to get out and get some fresh air. So other than that, guys, I hope... Hopefully you guys liked today's video. And don't forget to like don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we're making more videos. What about a thumbs up? And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. See you in the next one.